Hello everybody, I hope you are good. Stay safe at home. Today we are going to deal with Unit 9, Lesson 4. Writing a leaflet. Kindly prepare your books at pages 132 and 33, and your activity books at pages 106 and 7. Remember, this recording is for all levels. I hope by the end of this lesson, you will be able to speak about visits, read slogans, find information, design and write a leaflet, write a slogan. We are also going to deal with some grammar and vocab. Leaflet. What does a leaflet mean? It's a little book or a piece of paper containing information about a particular subject. Remember when you go to a store and you go there and you find a little book. That booklet there, you open it and you look at the everything there, either shopping or anything. Remember once you go somewhere in Europe or America or anything, any place or even here in Saudi Arabia and you go to the hotel and you ask for a leaflet. In this leaflet you are going to find about the places you, you can visit, even you can find some leaflets of um, the restaurants and the other services. So leaflet is a little book and sometimes just a paper that gives you information about a surface all right or a place or somewhere now go to your learner's book page 132 this is talking time so you need to talk you need to speak pause the video read the questions and try to recall all what you know about this. Just to speak. Record yourself if you don't have anyone to speak with. Have you ever visited a farm, zoo, or a safari park? Was it a school or a family trip? What animals did you see? What did you do? So think about these things. Think about this visit or that trip and try to remember everything about it. Exercise 2. Read this leaflet about the opening of a wildlife park. Would you like to go there? What activities or animals attract your attention in the leaflet? Why? Dirdle more wildlife park. Come and feed the goats and lambs. Don't miss the tractor and trailer ride. Be the first to collect the fresh eggs stroke the baby chicks. There's lots to see at Dirdle Moor Wildlife Park. Come and see our llamas, raccoons, meerkats and Egyptian fruit bats. Ride our Shire horse and don't leave without seeing our boa constrictor and Burmese python, or our birds of prey. Opening times Sunday to Saturday 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Closed Mondays, except bank holidays during school term time prices. Adults, £8, pensioners, £6.50. Children, 2 to 14 years, £6. Under 2 years, free admission. Everybody, I want you all of you to read this silently very carefully and to get every piece of information. Every word, every sentence. We are going to have some exercises and questions about it. So, for example, here you have got the prices here, the price. The prices here for adults, it's eight pounds. So, the pensioners, the people who retired from their jobs, they pay less, six uh, pounds and 50 pence, and so on. So, if I ask you to give you a problem that two adults, with pension, one, one pensioners, how much money they, they would pay, you are going to multiply 2 by um, uh, 8 by 2 and then you add the 6.5 uh, uh, so 
remember that you need to know this information. Also, look at the slogans here. Come and feed the goat and lambs. Other things like that. The opening times from Sunday, sa Saturday, 10 a.m., 6 p.m. All such these things, I want you to look at them. Now, after reading that leaflet, answer true or false. But before you start this exercise with me, pause this video. Pause this video and try to read for yourself an answer, and then come back to me. I'm going to start immediately. Back. Number one, you can't touch the animals. Is it true or false? If you are not sure, go to your page, go to your uh, go to your uh, learner's book, and try to get the information. It's false. The farm is closed on Monday. Go to the opening times and see if they are open there or closed. It's true. There aren't any reptiles. False. You can feed the lambs. You are not going to say the bear. The bear is silent, okay? It's true. You have to pay for children under the age of two. Go to the free admission and see. Of course, it's false. Now, go to your activity book page 106. You are going to read this leaflet. It has got a lot of information, the same like what happened in your learner's book. Try to read very carefully of everything in it and then you are going to complete a dialogue after that i'm going to give you some time to read now here we come to the the dialogue this is between mom and adam let's listen first to mom and adam for the first three okay the first of three. Let's listen to them. Look at this leaflet about the wild animal sanctuary. Adam, do you want to go there on the school holidays? Yes, please. What can you see there? There are lots of amazing animals to see. There are emus, bears and wild cats too like lions, tigers, lynxes. Okay, so, um, I think... You got the answer of one, two, and three. They said it. It's fair enough now. Let's work together. Okay, I bought you here the. Uh, I bought you here the. Um, the leaflet to remember that this is very important to you. Okay, let's go to number one. There are uh, muse, uh, bears, and wild cats to like. What are the wild cats? Go and look at the leaflet. First, the lions. Yeah. What else can you see there? Yes, go. Go. Go and see. Yes, the lynx. The lynx uh, also uh, is a kind of, uh, of cat. Alright? And it has, it's, some of them are mostly in Canada, in Liberia, there are some of them, okay, they are very wild by the way, so, um, okay, that sounds great, what days is it open, let's go to see the days, alright, alright gentlemen, let's see the days, okay, mm, it, when it's gonna open? Yes, opens from Sunday to Saturday. Uh, the others you are going to complete as homework. Oh, now we come to this. I love it. Listen to every problem and try to solve it. If you don't know how, you are going to go to the first leaflet in page 132 
and try to know how much money you pay for everybody and you are going to calculate them and give me the answer the first one I'm gonna read it or let it on audio. one a family of four want to spend the day at Durdle Moor Farm there are three adults one is a pensioner and three children aged one ten and eight they have forty pounds how much money do they have left to spend at the farm once they have paid for their tickets? Okay. Three adults, one pensioner, three children. One, mm -hmm. ten, eight. All right. How much money do they have left to spend? Yes, five pounds and fifty pence. Okay. Next. Two two elderly grandparents want to take their four grandchildren on an outing to the farm, but they're not sure if they have enough money. Their grandchildren are aged two, four, eight, and fifteen. Work out how much it will cost. Their budget is forty pounds. The budget. Okay, two grandchildren, four, two, four, eight, fifteen. All right, how much? Did you get it? Yes, thirty-seven. Okay, try to do this with someone of your friends or your family. Try to look at the price and tell them for example just imagine two people three adults one pensioner and so on like this just a game and now we come to uh, exercise two it's also problem solving the same kind of question work out how much it will cost these families to visit the wild animal sanctuary look here we have this old woman all right Let's say she's a pensioner, and we have these uh, adults, all right. How much does the ticket cost here? All right, take your time. Yes, they are going to pay $44.50. Uh, the others will be for homework. Try to do this game at home. It's very lovely. Now we come to the word slogan. Every leaflet, every leaflet has got a slogan. So go back to the two leaflets we you have read. You will find that they have got most of them are slogans. What is it's a slogan? It's a short phrase that is easy to remember. They are used in advertisement. These ads depend on these slogans or by political parties and other organizations who want people to remember what they are saying or selling. Remember the word advertisement. Or advertisement whatever you say so all just mostly depend on the slogans look at this picture of course you know most of these and these are slogans just do it here I'm going to give you some tips for writing an effective slogan I know it's not part of your book I know it's not in the curriculum but I'm trying to help you, since you are studying slogans, to know how to write a slogan. Maybe you got your business next time, when you are in the same position of us now, and you have a lot of responsibilities. All right, focus on what makes you different. Yes, whenever you have your own business, man, think to be different. Consider your target market. Yeah, think about your market. And you are a stand alone. Yes, your your 
slogan must be understood on its own. You don't need to explain it. Keep it short. We all don't have time these days to read long things. If you send something to your friend, he wouldn't read it if it's very long. So just keep it short and simple. Give them a rhythm, rhyme, and ring. Yeah, it must be lovely when people like it to say it. They're going to read it. Maybe they're going to keep it by art. They're going to sing it. And make it timeless. If you are, some people are writing on their shirts. They write 2020. All right. How about next year? It's going to be an old one. So be very careful concerning writing time. And stay honest. Um, it's not because I'm a teacher and teachers care for honesty, but no. In all your life, just be honest. Because these people who are going to buy what you sell them are not stupid. If, they, if, you, if you trick them once, you will not trick them again. Be honest when you write your slogans. Must be a real one. Now, let's have some well-known slogans. There are your examples here, other than this picture. Do you remember mouse in your mouth, not in your hand? Okay, is it? The M and MMS. Save money, live better. Yeah, one moment. I'm loving it. Everybody knows this one. How about this one? You everybody like it? Just do it. Now, the imperative sentence, ah, uh, this time of a grammar. What is this kind of sentence? It gives um, requests, requests, demands, or instructions, or shares wishes or invitations for others. Basically, they tell you or to anyone, tell someone what to do. For example, here, if you want to make a, a, an imperative sentence, American would say the te like the. Uh, the form you are gonna start with a verb, and what function it gives you a command. For example, stop, don't go. These are all imperative sentences. Hey, do you remember this movie? I think it was Terminator. Thank you. Uh, do you remember when he said, get out? Uh, I'm not trying his name, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, now slogans are, that's very enough introduction, the ones I made, I just made. Now, let's go to your book. Okay. It's in page, um, page, page, page. Five in page 133. Yes, slogans are interesting sentences which attract people's attention. Look at the slogan below. Can you find more examples in that advertisement? How can you do this? Use the imperative sentences to write your slogan. For example, say, come and don't mess. Be the first. Don't leave. So you are going to use such things. Come and feed the goats and lambs. Did it, where did you see this? The first leaf, leaflet. Okay, let's have another one. I oh, made one. Don't make the track, don't try to write. Do you want more exams? Go, go to the page 132 and read the leaflet again and come back to me. Next, yeah, be the first to collect the fresh egg and some more. All of these are slogans. Okay? Now, you are, it's your time to practice. Write slogans for the wild animal sanctuary and use imperative sentences. Be the first, don't mess, don't leave, come on. All these. I'm going to answer one for you. Let me help you. Be the first to come and win. For example, if somebody uh, comes the first one, you are going to give him a prize. <laughs> you will find a lot of people, gates. You must have gods there. 
Alright, you are going to complete the as well. Now we come to our project. Let's Design and write a leaflet. Dot design and write a leaflet to advertise a local animal farm, animal sanctuary or safari park in your area. Make a list of special activities for children, feeding the animals, horse rides, etc. Write slogans to attract people's interest. Find photos from magazines of mammals, insects, birds and amphibians or draw your own pictures. Include information on opening times and prices. Yes, try to do it, man. Just catch any piece of paper in it. Um, at your desk and try to make a leaflet to a so-called business. Think of a business you would make, of, of a place you may visit, and try to make it. You are not gonna lose anything, just get some practice, man. The more you practice, the more you learn. And here again, with the wild animal sanctuary, I want to add, want you to add another special activity. Um, to your plan, imagine the activity, write about it, draw a picture, and write the slogan for it too. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be with you. Stay safe, guys.